以下我们给大家所做的一个报道，它是一个新闻影片吗？它是一个记录人类怎么样让自己可居住的地方一步一步的走向不可居住甚至灭亡吗？我没有办法回答，我只能说它就是真相。Powerful winds and historic rainfall lashing the west coast. 41 million at risk for flash flooding, mudslides, and high winds. Off the Washington coast, the strongest storm on record. What's to blame? A swift and massive drop in air pressure called a bomb cyclone, combined with an influx of extra tropical moisture. The mix creating a catastrophic weather system, already wreaking havoc on California's highways. The town of Paradise is still devastated from the fires there. To a region that so desperately needed rain, but the storm only providing more pain. In Chicago, winds from a separate system whipping the waters of Lake Michigan, waves over 12 feet. And in the Midwest, more severe storms after at least 13 reported tornadoes. This one near Kansas City. Look at the water, look at the water level. And weather forecasters said parts of Sicily were being pounded by a rare tropical like cyclone with the sea eight degrees Celsius warmer than the average for this time of year. I'm Nadia and I'm a marine biologist working at Rotherham Research Station on the West Antarctic Peninsula. We dive throughout the summer and the winter to allow seasonal comparisons. We collect multiple species ranging from sea cucumbers to sea spiders to sea stars to predict what future changes will have and understand better how Antarctic ecosystems function. The melting of just a fraction of Antarctica's ice mass could lead to catastrophic sea level rises and further accelerate global warming. In the last five years, heat waves have caused the death of half of the corals on the reef through a process known as bleaching, turning them ghostly white. We're losing these breeding corals faster than they can be replaced. In fact, scientists say nearly all reefs will disappear by the end of the century due to thermal stress and ocean acidification. These are all the things you already know. Nadia wants to tell you, if you thought that the climate is for the climate to save the Nanjie Chi'e, or the Big Bang of the Sea, no. The people who are saved are you. It's not the Earth and the planetary systems that need saving, it's us as humans. So I'm looking at Antarctic ecosystems that I've been there for, and I know within myself, I'm not worried because they will be able to recover. Without humans, life will regenerate. We absolutely need to listen to the science. We need to listen to the signs that are showing that the climate is changing and that habitats are under pressure. Species cannot adapt fast enough. We are going to experience a completely different world. We're about to be shown something amazing. We are in Siberia in a walk-in fridge with an intact extinct species. The remains of a mammoth, a 28,000 year old mammoth. When they found it, it was so well preserved that there was still fur on it. Two thirds of Russia is covered by something called permafrost, permanently frozen ground. The icy soil preserves ancient animals incredibly well. But we were in Yakutia this summer, nearly 3,000 miles from Moscow, because climate change is changing Siberia. Its frozen ground is starting to melt, and it potentially has huge consequences for the rest of the planet. But with average temperatures in Yakutia now up to three degrees Celsius warmer, in many places the permafrost is starting to thaw. That warming is literally reshaping the landscape. As permafrost retreats, it leaves a hollow space under the ground. As the top earth starts to fall in, it makes these strange bulges and mounds. What was once flat land now looks like this. This plot of land was very flat. In 1994, we played football, volleyball on it. Some scientists predict if temperatures continue on their present trajectory, from 10 to 30% of permafrost will be thawing within the next few decades. 
移到门前。西伯利亚的房屋以肉眼可见的状态列出拳头大的裂缝，倒下只是迟早的问题。不幸的是，随着永冻层的解冻，还会释放出的温室气体甲烷，而且甲烷暖化效果是二氧化碳分子的二十五倍，陷入地球暖化的恶性循环。东非的冰川不用等几十年，联合国报告警告，在二十年，东非所有冰川就要不见了。A new UN-backed report has warned that East Africa's last remaining glaciers are sinking fast. All three of Africa's glaciers are shrinking at a faster rate than the global average. A new report says extreme weather conditions could affect up to 118 million extremely poor people in Africa. Adapting to the impacts of climate change is costing African economies an average of 5% of their GDP. And if warming continues at the rates projected in this report, these costs will increase exponentially within the next decade. Africa is disproportionately affected by the impacts of global warming, with droughts and flooding becoming more common. But it's responsible for less than 4% of global greenhouse gas emissions. Africa大陆和斯卡利的，这么个的，这个的，咱们在看，我们在云里，大陆，我们在云里，我拉开的，华拉克，我们在云里，我们在云里，我们在云里，我们在云里，我们在云里，我们在云里，我们在云里，我们